children's ring at, where the love of the game begins, where the importance of I can do it can't be stressed enough, where the foundation of all future ring at skills is built. 25 years ago, smaller area games were introduced for children's ring at. There was resistance. There was fear of the unknown. There were threats to quit. There was panic. In Finland. Today, we check in with Finnish parents to find out what they think of the game now and what advice they'd like to share with Canadian parents. can touch the ring for example and it's and the distance is not too like long and there are more one-on-one -on -one situations on a, this size ice the play, play gets faster on a smaller ice I think so don't be worried and it, it, it will be more exciting to watch the game because there is a lot more happening on the ice when it's smaller. I think they they are having better skills on a, and better better skating skills on a small ice and more passing and more receiving ring. Well, that's a long list. Okay. Long list that. Well, we can start about that. Uh, they everybody can in, can be involved in the game much better smaller area nobody ha nobody's standing in a corner or doing nothing all three of them in both teams are playing the same game it's a faster faster and r more reaction needed to be in a smaller area they're communicating each other they're communicating against opponents and everything so they don't have to yell across the ice our way in smaller ice, the the, mo the the game is more hectic. There are more situations. There are more more speed. More everything. Everything is participating on the play. I would think that the bigger ice, there would be less less actions, and some girls doesn't <laughs> even touch the ring. There'll be more actions uh, with the girls. Ready. So when they are older, they play with the five players. But now when they are younger, they play only with the three against three. So there is uh, everybody has to be involved. And usually, if you play with the five and five, you get one or two players who is not really involved in the game and uh, can be a kind of a just participating on the ice, but really not doing anything, not putting the effort. So now when you're playing with the three on three, uh, it really adds up that everybody has to do the work. So uh, there's responsibility responsibility for each of the players, and uh, because if we are starting with the five players at the young age, you can go with a couple of or several years that actually you just been on the ice. It's just one of the players, but actually you don't have to do pretty much nothing. The biggest advantage, what I find, is that uh, when it's a smaller ice and with the players of with the three, uh, you have to make uh, faster decisions. When you get the ring on your stick, you have to think it fast. And uh, second of all, you, you learn how much better skater because you have to skate different directions on the, in, the, in the ice a lot faster turnings. I haven't seen a game where you skate a lot fast straight because <laughs> uh, there's a lot of turning in, in the ring at the These girls are using a three-on-three -three cross ice surface, so it's we put a board there in the blue line, and it's only the end of the ice surface. We have one line in the middle, which is the passing line. What we need to pass, pass over, and uh, we usually setting up in ice rink because there's a hockey player playing on the same rink. Uh, we are painting the uh, goalie screen there, but. Uh, then also uh, in the middle part, we have this uh, uh, starting points, and it's uh, five meters from from the half line on the both sides, five meters distance where they start. 
and we will just uh, paint it on uh, with a spray. Of course, you need parents and more more hands to help. But about ten minutes beforehand, all preparations on the ice. Uh, Twenty-five minutes the first game. Then there is a break. Ten, fifteen minutes. Then there is a second game. Twenty-five minutes, and the second break. Ten to fifteen minutes, and the third game. Twenty-five minutes. And we are switching goalies in the break, so we will switch the bats. So it's a three against three, plus goalies. And then there will be a 90 seconds, and it will be a shift that uh, three players, new, new three players will come up. No, no, the children will, but we don't. We just try to make it fun. It's just, if we are losing a game, we don't worry about the losing game, which we're trying to have the girls are having fun at this age. So, because if you don't have fun, you think about losing, you actually wear out real fast. There's a referee, but uh, there are junior players, like under 15, under 15 teams. They're actually not referees, they're instructors of the game. We don't have penalties at all. So if there is a uh, uh, high sticking or tripping coming on, the referee, young referees, who is also learning, uh, they will whistle and call it off and then the opposite team will get uh, the starting point. Not give any penalties because uh, it will be a too big punishment for the girls at that age. Mm, well, in my opinion, they don't even know what positions to play at, the, at this age. So they are they are learning everything. They are learning how to defend, how to, how to go to the goal, and they can try everything. When they try everything, they will grow. There might be some uh, misunderstanding about this one, and what is the game, and uh, uh, who should be in what position. Should you learn to be a defender at your very early childhood, or are you growing up and thinking that you're going to be a forward later on, and you're good with the shooting or skating? You, you really don't know at this level, uh, if you're thinking that uh, you put somebody to be a defender and for example she's getting a lot of uh, not a good choices what to do and she's feeling that uh, this is not funny anymore so they will quit the game. Even though we are practicing, we are practicing uh, defending with the three players together, we are uh, practicing that when we are going over the line we are all forwards. You can teach the areas he can te teach how to defend and uh, crossing the lines. It's much more easier for uh, in a smaller area. It is it is good when you have a smaller smaller eyes and you will learn everything. So that's a that's a good thing. They should uh, learn basic skills. Handling the stick and ring, of course, and uh, skating in a small area instead of a uh, big ring. The kids shouldn't be feeling that they are old adults. They have to. They have to play. They have to be kids. Everybody can feel that the, they are succeeding and they are doing something with the team. Actually, when I look at the adults game, the hockey and ring at them is not, is not playing the whole area. It's always on a small area. We believe that um, if, if you uh, want to win the game, you have to win the small area. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we are not. <laughs> no, I don't think it's that way. I think that we can uh, expect more from the girls. There are only three players, so all of those three girls have to take responsibility. Don't worry. <laughs> this is uh, for the girls. And uh, I think that uh, the most important uh, 
each year to learn uh, for the girls is, is the feeling that they can do it and it's much more easier in the small area to get those yes I did it well <laughs> succeed so it's, it's much more easier to get and, uh, and receive your target when you have a right size play area be patient <laughs> patient and let them let the girls play so if they're not getting involved in the game they're not developing but if they have to have to react and in getting involved in the game develop it much 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 faster uh, I think they should come and watch our games when I, our girls are playing on a small ice uh, and, and I think that that would help if they were having a big eyes now, then I would be worried. I would be concerned that my girl is getting bored and and things like that. But now I'm not worried. You have to have a certain type of enthusiasm for the game. You, under 10 year old, you built the enthusiasm first, and then you built the skills. How about the girls think about it? How does it feel? I think it's the most important thing that uh, girls like it and what do they think about it. Uh, it's her hobby. I have my own hobbies and <laughs> if she likes it and it's good for her, so it's the most important thing. Yes. Well, I would say that our, our system is better, so please go and try. You, you find it out yourself.